तो टुडे वील बी कवरिंग कलेक्शन कलेक्शन एज द नेम स्पेसिफाइज इज अ प्लूर कलेक्शन ऑफ स्टैम्प्स कलेक्शन ऑफ टाई तो इट मीन्स मल्टीपल थिंग्स तो वी कैन से कलेक्शन स्टोर्स मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेन वी हैव डिस्कस द एरे इन अवर प्रीवियस टॉपिक देर वॉज वन एरे तो एरे वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एरे ऑल्सो स्टोर्स द मल्टीपल वैल्यूज बट एरे हैज वन डिसएडवांटेज दैट इज इट हैज अ फिक्स साइज like i have initialized the array over here and we have initialized four values so it can store from the index position 0 1 2 3 4 so it can store the four values only okay like if i am again doing the okay okay so when we have discussed the array so array was also storing the multiple values but here the size was fixed 4 that is we cannot store the values greater than 4 and even if i am storing the duplicate values it will store the duplicate values also and whenever i want to retrieve the value it will always retrieve the value from the index position 0 1 2 3 position but if i want to store the multiple values dynamically that is no fix size then we can use the collection so we can say collection is a alternate of array and here we can store multiple objects dynamically like take example if i am selecting uttar pradesh and i am getting the cities of uttar pradesh 20 cities for uttar pradesh and i want to store them and if i am storing in array i have to make the array with a size 20 next time say i want to run the same test and now i am selecting the cities for andhra pradesh now here andhra pradesh may be having 12 cities so when i am storing the 12 cities in a array it will not take the size 12 it will take the 20 size only next day if i am running the same test for madhya pradesh and say madhya pradesh is having 25 cities but i have created the array for size 20 so i can store 20 values into it only so it means array has a fixed size but if i want to make a dynamic size that is if, if i want to store 20 i can store 20 values or if the size is 12 it will be 12 values only or if it is 25 it will be 25 values only then we can use the collection concept also in the same program maybe i am getting the bangalore city two times so if i am getting some duplicate cities i do not want to store the duplicate cities that concept is also not available with the array i can do it but for that i have to write a complicated code to check whether the value i am adding is already added so we have to write a complicated code but in collection we can store the unique data only one more thing is that when we are retrieving the values from array it always retrieves the value from index position 0 1 2 3 position but if i want to retrieve the value in ascending order that is i should get first aurangabad then i should get the uh, bangalore in the indexing order a and b that thing is not available with the array so hence in collection we can retrieve the value in index order random order as well as in the ascending order so that is the concept of collection so collection is actually a interface it is a name of a interface it is a predefined interface coming from util library 
यूटिल पैकेज एंड एज यू डिस्कस द इंटरफेस इन अवर लास्ट क्लास तो यू डिस्कस दैट इंटरफेस कैन इनहेरिट इन अनदर इंटरफेस देयर कैन बी पेरेंट एंड चाइल्ड इंटरफेसेस तो सिमिलरली कलेक्शन इंटरफेस इज अ पेरेंट इंटरफेस व्हिच हैज थ्री चाइल्ड इंटरफेसेस वन इज सेट इंटरफेस लिस्ट इंटरफेस एंड मैप इंटरफेस दैट इज सेट इंटरफेस एक्सटेंड्स कलेक्शन List interface extends collection and map interface is also extending collection. So collection is top in the hierarchy, and from collection we are getting the three interfaces. All these interfaces are predefined in util package. Again, when we have discussed in our last class that if there is an interface there, it has to be implemented in a class. So we have implementing classes also. set interface is implemented in hash set class linked hash set class and tree set class these are also predefined classes so like we have created scooter class and car class which were implementing automobile and both of the classes have same method name but different body so similarly hash set interface implement set linked hash set interface implement set and tree set interface implement set all are implementing set interface it means all of them have same body method they are sorry they have same method name but different body similarly list interface is implemented in another class which is called array list linked list and vector these are the three classes where list interface is implemented and similarly map interface is implemented in hash map linked hash map and tree map these are the implementing classes basically now set in the, it is a property of set interface that it stores only unique values in set we cannot store duplicate values so set is a collection of unique data unique objects similarly list can store duplicate values so list is a collection of list which can have duplicate objects also and map stores the object in key value pair that is key can be duplicate key can be unique and value can be duplicate like there can be two amit objects available in a class but i can map them with roll number roll number 1 and roll number 2 so roll number will be unique and name can be duplicate that is the concept of map so let us do some examples to understand these concept so i will write one program say set demo so i am creating one uh, first of all i am creating the example for set as we have discussed so there is one class called hash set class hash set is a class which is implementing it is a predefined class and it is a predefined interface which implements set interface and if i write set s is equals to new hash set then we have to import a package util package so new is a keyword hash set is a class constructor which is returning the reference of interface which we have also discussed in our last class automobile auto is equal to new car so car is implementing automobile so we can return the reference of automobile so similarly hash set is a class which implements set interface we can return the set interface now if you look at it it is giving me one warning that hash set is a raw type raw type means 
we are not specified which type of the object it can store so i am initializing i am initializing the set object and when i want to store the values like we were doing in array i can use this method s dot so these are the methods of set interface which is implemented in headset class so there is a method called add which adds the object type of the data so like here if i add ram if i add 43 if i add 89.65 so it is adding all of them there is no fixed size that it can add three values or four values or five values we can just keep on adding but here i am adding a string object integer object double object we have got not specified which type of the object i want to add for that if i write within less than and greater than that i want to add object type of the data so object means anything in a java everything is a object and object is a supermost class of java here so when i write greater than less than this warning yellow color raw data is removed so it means now it has it, it has been specified that i am making a set of object and in object it can store any kind of the object it can be string it can be integer it can be double it can be character anything but if i want to store the specific object type that is object means it can store any kind of the data all the data is object and there is no fixed size like this it can store character it can store double it can store integer it can store the string but if i want to specify that i want to store a string type of the value then instead of object we can specify that i want to store a string type of the value so whenever you are initializing you have to initialize with the set s is equal to new headset and within less than greater than object type which you want to add like here when i write a string so ram is not giving me error but now 43 89 and a is giving me the error because they are not string type objects similarly if i remove a string and say i want to add integer then i will write integer not int integer is a class type of the data so it stores the object type of the data so we have to write complete wrapper class not only int and now it can add some int values like 41 4 1 14 we can keep on adding if i add a duplicate value say i add 43 again so i have added 43 two times but it is store only unique data no duplicate values will be added in set it is a property of set so we can keep on adding so there is no fixed size as such like it was in array so similar like in array we were writing the values but it was fixed to the four and here duplicate values were also added and it will retrieve the data in this order only but here we can keep on adding 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 as many values as we want and if i write the duplicate values 43 it will write one time only now how to retrieve the value to retrieve the value we will not use index position instead of that there is a method called iterator 
which iterate the data from the set. Iterator written type is iterator. I is small, it is a method. When I is a capital, it is again an interface. So it will return iterator object. It is coming from util, so util import util. And what kind of the object it will iterate? Again, we have to classify, specify within greater than less than that it will iterate integer type object. Now, when we were doing the array, we were using the length operator to check how many values it is having and we are retrieving the data from the index position 0, 1, 2. But here, it will iterate the data by using while. While it dot has next until there are next 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 values it will retrieve them which i can print it dot next will retrieve the values from the set and print them but it will print only the unique data because it will add the unique data all. so let us try to run it and check it Forty, forty-three, four, one, one, fourteen. So it means it is not retrieving the duplicate values forty-three two times. No, it is retrieving the data forty, forty-three, four, one, one, and fourteen. Forty-three is not retrieved. Say this is before. Again, if I say I want to remove some value that is also one feature available in collection that is you can also remove the object say if i want to remove 43 it will remove 43 and again if i want to add so in the same list you can keep on adding you can keep on removing as per your choice say 98 again 91 say 19 and if again i add duplicate value say 98 so in the same list basically we are doing the modification we are removing some value from the list set list and again adding some values again i will retrieve the value so it means i am doing the modify the list and again i will retrieve it so i will retrieve it by using the iterator now iterator it object is already defined so it will give me the duplicate warning so because I have already defined it, so I will not redefine it. I will just use it because if you have already defined it is a variable of iterator type, no need to define it again. So again, it will store the value in it and retrieve it. So now I will mark it as after. So again, if I show it to you. You can check this was my before list where 43 was available. This is my after list where 43 has been removed and other values are being, add, are being added. But here if you look at the, the retrieval, the retriever is random. <coughs> it is not displaying the values in the same order in which we have added it has changed the 
data up and down so when we are using the headset class it retrieves the data in random order anything can come first anything can come after world it so our order is not same if i use another class which is which is linked headset linked headset again linked headset is a class which implements set interface and it retrieve data in index order in the same order in which we are adding it it will retrieve in the same order so again i will use the class same set s is equal to instead of new headset new linked headset this is again a class same is store the value and retrieve the value modify and again retrieve the value again if you run the same program now you see the retrieval it is in the same order 40 43 41 14 14 then again 40 43 is removed then 411 14 98 91 19 it has added the values after this so it means it is adding the values in the same order 40 43 41 14 43, 43 was duplicate then it has removed the 43 and then 40 41 14 14 43 and added these values also now again one more class is available that is tree set so these are the three classes one is headset class implement set another one is this one linked headset class implements this okay and third one is tree set class tree set which again so set interface is implemented in figure so as you discuss interface method name is same that is iterator and add but the logic behind it is different here in tree set again it implements the set interface but now it retrieve the data in ascending order ascending order so there is again class tree set tree set whenever we are using set in all the cases it will store the unique data also and again if i execute it you see it is retrieving data in ascending order 14 40 43 4 11 then again 14 then 19 40 43 is removed 91 98 4 1 so it has automatically arranged the data in ascending order which was very difficult to do when we are doing the array or array so that is a difference here we are do not have any fixed size so as many values we can add and remove and then add and can retrieve random order ascending order or index order as per our choice now second thing is if i want to add the duplicate values 
then we will use another interface which is list interface so another class is array list again array list is a class <coughs> which implements list interface so again list is an interface <coughs> and it retrieves the data in index order only so again i can write list l is equals to new array list so array list is a class list is a interface which is coming from util library and it is again giving me this it is a raw type of the data because we have not specified which type of the list it will add so we within the greater than less than we have to specify like if in set we have specified integer here we can specify string string <coughs> like this it means we are again initializing and then store and now it can store duplicate values also that is l dot add sera <coughs> say hari And if I again add Ram, now the, if it is a set, if I use the set object over here, it will add Ram one time. It will not add Ram two times. But here, when we are using list, so it will add Ram two times. No problem with that. So duplicate values can be added. Again, we want to retrieve it. again same method is there so it means implementation is same that is l dot iterator is a method which again returns the iterator object which type of the data it will iterate A string type of the data while loop until there are next 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 values which returns the boolean value true and false print the values So here it will retrieve the data in the same order in which we have added and it will also retrieve the duplicate values. <coughs> Ram Hari Sham Ram. Ram Hari Sham Ram. So if you want to store the unique values, then you should use set. If you want to store the duplicate values, you can store it in a list in list you will not get the uh, any implementation for retrieving the data in ascending order or 
randomly here you will get the data in the index order that is in the same order in which you have added because array list internally create the dynamic array which is uh, flexible and it retrieves the data in index position 0 1 2 3 position all but in set you get this facility to retrieve the data in ascending order also now one more is map <coughs> again in map there are three classes same like in set there is hash set class linked hash set tree set similarly over here there is hash map linked hash map and tree map so first is hash map is a class predefined class implements map interface so map is the interface here okay. so if i write map m is equals to new hash map so new hash map is a class which returns the reference of map interface you have to import it from util now map stores the data in key value pair so within greater than less than you have to specify the type of key and type of value that is if i write say integer comma string like this so here i was writing only one string or in set i was writing only one integer but here i am writing two because i have to specify the key type as well as the value type so let's say i want to store the key as integer and value as a string or you can use any other thing also like you can use character also anything you can use i can use character as a key and a string as a value like this character and or you can use double or anything so it means again we are initializing and it is a property of hash map that it retrieves the data in random order same thing if i use linked hash map then it will retrieve the data in index order tree map will retrieve the data in ascending order of the key same concept so hash map means random so first of all we have to add the value store so it is store the value in key value pair where key is always unique key is unique value can be duplicate value can be duplicate like here when we have done so i have added ram hari sham ram if i want to identify which ram i cannot identify it but again over here if i add m dot now there is no add method there is another method called put p u t put like here x character ram 
like this. So it means it means this RAM can be identified with this key key value pair. Again, M dot put say A say Z. So M dot put key say B. again say ram so now i have two names ram ram duplicate but key should be unique this ram can be identified by x this ram can be identified by b or again if i write m dot put say h So you have to store the value in key value pair. Type of the key and the value according. If you want to retrieve the value, you can retrieve the value by the key. That is m dot get. And in get we can specify the key say b like this so it will retrieve the value with the key b so it will retrieve this ram which is referred by this b not x ram If you want to retrieve all, then in that case, we have to store these values because M does not have any uh, iterator method. So if I use M dot, I will not get any iterator method over here. So if otherwise you have to get M dot size so you have to use this for loop so m dot size will return the integer because i do not have any iterator method over here so it will return me the size and if i print it size means how many values it has stored so size is a method through which we can check how many values it is having 4 1 2 3 4 now if i use a for loop for int i is equals to 0 i is less than size i plus plus so it will create a loop for four times and here if i get system dot out dot print ln m dot get
there is no such as method which can retrieve the value by the index position so there, there is no method which can which takes the input of int type but let us try to use it let us try to use it m dot get and here if i pass this i so let us check what it, it returns no it is returning null so it will not work so if i want to retrieve all then another approach because i am not getting the iterator over here either you can retrieve the value by the index position or if you want to retrieve all then another way is that you can use this method called values it will store all these values from map to the collection so it returns the collection of them which type of the values is string a string is a type of the values so it means now we have taken the values from map and store it in a collection and now in collection you can use the iterator now we have iterator available with us so because there is no iterator method in map so that's why we are using this approach iterator again will return iterator like this and then while it dot has next it will keep on retrieving the values it has retrieved the value. so it has retrieved the value and if you want to retrieve the value in ascending order then you can use tree map so there is another class called tree map which again implements map interface which retrieves the data in ascending order so we can use instead of hash map we can use tree map similarly you can use linked hash map so not tree map will retrieve the data in ascending order which but ascending order of the key a b h and x in that order it will not retrieve it in the ascending order of value ascending order of the key a then then b ram then h hari and then x ram in that order so i think you have understood the collection uh, concept collection is basically an interface which stores multiple objects dynamically that is it does not have any fixed size and there are three implementation set list and map set can store duplicate uh, sorry set stores the unique data list can store the duplicate values and map stores the value in key value pair and we can whenever we want to fetch the data from the web page multiple values so we can store it in collection easy way instead of storing it in array but both are important to understand array is also important collection is also important now i will move move to the next topic of java which is our last topic that is exception handling so when we are writing and running our program 
so we get two kind of the errors one is called compile time errors what are the compile time errors compile time errors are the errors syntax errors like we forget some brackets or semicolon or import or some case sensitive small letter capital capital small etc then it immediately gives you the red mark and gives you the error that i cannot run this program i cannot save it whenever you save it it give you the error right away but some some uh, uh, examples are where you are not having the compile time error but when you run the program then it gives you the error like here here if i am storing this digit also 0 1 2 3 4 actually it is four values but i am storing 1 2 3 4 5 values so it is not giving me any compile time error because main method is not called right now main method is called at run time and when we run the program then only main method will call then only this array will be initialized then only it will store and retrieve value and it will give me the run time error exception and it will automatically detect which kind of the error array index auto bound exception these are called run time error so when we run our program and to run the program there is some environment required like if i am doing a web testing then internet should be available with with us when i am typing my program then it is not checking whether internet is available or not but when i am running my program to run the program to open the browser to open the website it requires the internet connection and if it is not available it will give me the run time error so these are the or we are giving some wrong input like i am asking user to enter in this e1 and odd i was asking the user to enter integer but if the person enters say space some characters it is giving me the run time error not the, because when i am taking the input then only it will check me and it is say we, we i want a number but you are entering the input mismatch exception so java has created lot of exception classes every package network package will have the network exception input output package will have input output exception lang package will have some runtime exception class so it means we have certain inbuilt exception classes when the error occur it will throw the exception okay so now when we run the program and we when we are writing our program and we expect that they to execute this program we require this kind of a environment or i want this kind of a input and person can enter the wrong input like here in even not example i am expecting that person will enter number integer but when i am taking the input from the user he may enter spaces also he may enter some characters also so i am expecting it then we should handle these kind of the errors that is called exception handling so exception handling means handling the run time errors which we expect can come in our program for that we have to use the exception classes now as we uh, uh, have shown you so there are lot of inbuilt exception classes but it is very difficult to know which kind of the exception will come and which class will handle it to make our work easier we handle all the exception classes by using one exception class that is exception java dot lang dot exception is a class which is the parent of all the exception classes that is this just like this input mismatch exception class is inherited from exception class array index out of bound exception is inherited from exception class so it means all the packages all the exception classes 
are derived from supermost class that is exception class so hence instead of handling the multiple exceptions or we do not know which exception can come we can handle all the exception by using one simple exception class that is exception which will will make our work simpler like take example if i make one program and again i will make one method say calculate which will take to input and i am writing some message So I will write addition, then say I want divide, say then I want multiply, and then say I want subtraction. So I, I have performing four action in my calculate method. And I create the constructor of the class. <coughs> and call the method. Say four and 2. So I am passing 2 inputs 4 and 2. Then in that case i will be 4, j will be 2 4 plus 2 no problem, 4 divided by 2 no problem, 4 into 2 no problem, 4 minus 2 no problem everything will get executed, I will not get any error message. <coughs> but say here if I pass 0. Now 4 plus 0 no problem. <coughs> but 4 divided by 0 is a problem. We cannot divide anything by 0. And it is an error. So now again if I run it. Whenever there is an error program will throw the exception. <coughs> First line is executed. Second line is having error. It will automatically detect from where it will show the error. So it will show there is an arithmetic exception class which is again inbuilt class. So Java will automatically detect which kind of the error is coming from where it is coming and which line number it is coming and it will give you that line number 10 is giving you the error <coughs> and it will throw the exception divide by 0. But the problem is that the program is terminated from here. 4 multiplied by 0 is correct. 4 into 0 0. 4 minus 0, 4. These two lines are not giving any error. But because this line is giving error, the program has been terminated. <coughs> so now, what to do? For that, we can use try block. So I am writing try opening and try close. <coughs> this is called try block. And in try block, we write that code in which we expect error can come. So this line I am expecting that <coughs> this line can show me the error. So I will keep it inside the try block. Like when I play a cricket, so I keep my fielders in a catching position because I, I am expecting that here 
catch may comes on slip catch may come so i will keep my fielder placed in a slip position so similarly i am expecting here error may come and if error come then only catch block will be called and what does this catch do catch is again a block catch will catch the exception if i specifically know that this will throw arithmetic exception then i can specifically write over here then i can specifically write over here that it will catch arithmetic exception but here so it is a simple thing to i'll know that okay but when we are actually writing our program so we does not know which exception will come and multiple errors can also come from different like java dot network error will also come java dot io dot io exception can also come some other errors also the multiple exception so hence we have to catch it multiple exception like again i have to recreate catch one more time because this catch will catch only arithmetic exception say if another exception is also coming say number format exception so i have to catch the number format exception again so for the single try i have to create multiple catch statements if in this try block number format error is coming like i'm i i'm instead of taking the input as int i'm taking the input as character then number format exception will come then it will go to this catch block if there is a arithmetic error that i'm passing zero then this catch will be called if there is another error then again i have to catch one more catch block so multiple catch blocks will be i have to create and i have to know which exception class to handle to make my work easier what i do instead of creating multiple catch blocks and specifically writing the exception i just write only exception e so exception is a supermost class which handles all the kind of the exception even the multiple exceptions what is coming then it will go to the catch block any kind of the exception so generally we write try code in which we expect the error and if the error is coming it will go to the catch block so in catch we can print our error message print stack trace so print stack trace is a method and exception is a class coming from lang package it is a class and it is a method what does it do it print system error message so let us run it again and now if i want to run this multiply and subtract also then i can put it in the finally block finally finally block always executes so there are three blocks try block catch block and final block final block is optional to write finally means it will always execute finally always execute always execute whether there is a error in try block then also it will execute and if there is no error in the try block then also it will execute so let us run it again again if i pass 2 then there is no error in try block then catch will not be called but finally will be called divide is calling catch is not calling finally is also calling if i pass 0 then also you see first line is executed and then try is having the error 
it will go to the catch and catch will print the system error message here and finally is also executed now finally is not terminated finally gets executed in both the cases sometime i get a system error message which is very much complicated for user to understand like i get some very technical things in our error message so i do not want to show the system error message instead of that i want to show my own user error message for that if i do not write e dot print stack trace and i simply write system dot err dot print ln err to make the uh, this error message print in this red color for err and i can simply write wrong input so this is my user error message user so this is my system error message this is my user error message if there is an error again it will go to the catch and print this message so it is little bit less complicated to understand for the user similarly sometime you do not want to show any error message like when you are running your test cases or something error is come, coming but you do not want to report them you do not want to show them then in catch you do not write anything neither print stack trace nor any other error message so error will come it will go to the catch but nothing will get printed so again i will run it so you say you will not get any error message and one more last thing like here if i want to run the alternate code alternate code alternate code means if this try block code is not working like i am opening the chrome browser and chrome browser it is not opening then alternatively i want to open the edge browser then if this code is not working then again you can write a alternate code over here to open the edge like here if this code is not working then i do not want to show any error message <coughs> i want to open the alternate code so i can write the alternate code also that is if zero is there i will divide it by one only for the demonstration that is if input is zero then if error is coming then i want to take it as a one not as a zero and you see over here it is get running the alternate code code in that way we can use try catch and finally block to handle the runtime errors one more thing if some method we are using which is predefined method which is throwing some exception so there is a throws keyword and if some predefined method is because we have not defined it so if it if we are using throws with with a method name which is used to throw the exception then it is compulsory for us to handle that exception for example <coughs> again i will make one more class and say again i will make one method any method if i write one message hi and then again i want to print one more message c 
me buy and between high and buy i want to wait for some time that is after high it should wait and then it should print buy so i do not want this line and this line executed simultaneously i want some gap in between them so there is one predefined class thread and there is one method sleep which stops the execution of the program for some specific time and this time it takes in a millisecond ms okay import millisecond p h r e d a n just to see import if i use thread No problem. Let us try to execute it. So, if I use this throws, so we can use this throws exception with a method name. So, अभी check करते हैं what is the problem. So, if I am throwing some exception with a method name, that is if this method is, and I am calling this method from my main method. because when i have defined this particular method and i have used the throws keyword with it and I, when i am calling this method from anywhere like i am calling it from the main method then it is compulsory for you to throw the same exception like i am calling this method it is giving me the error and it is saying that you should add the throws declaration with it that is so basically what i'm trying to tell is that if any of the declaration of the method throws some exception and you are calling that method then you have to throw the exception which is compulsory so similarly thread is a inbuilt class of java i do not know why why it is giving you the error thread is a inbuilt class of java th maybe thread spelling say that java dot dot thread let me check java dot log dot thread Sleep is an inbuilt method of thread class which throws the exception. So whenever we are using sleep method, it is compulsory for us to throw the exception. That is the thing. But uh, uh, it is not taking uh, this thing now. Uh, thread dot sleep. So I am just checking why it, why it is giving the error. Job dot lang dot thread. Okay. So we'll keep up to here. Uh, we'll see to it what it is. What is the error coming? 